Hi, it's Spoon Phillips, and I'm out here at Maury's Music in Coldale, Pennsylvania, where I get to play this amazing C.F. Martin & Company D. Homeward Sailor Jerry Limited Edition guitar. This is one of the favorite guitars I have in all of the history of C.F. Martin. I think it is just absolutely beautiful. It has um, a lot of Americana history attached to it. Some of you may know Sailor Jerry. It was the pseudonym of a of perhaps the most famous tattoo artist of all time. His shop was in Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, he grew up in the mainland, traveled around the United States, did a variety of uh, odd jobs, and became enamored of tattoos and the different kinds of tattoos that were being done around the country. He was in San Diego for a while, ended up in Hawaii, where, where sailors from all over the world would come to his shop to get his tattoos. His designs are famous around the world. They have been stolen and reproduced by other people, but he uh, started all of them himself. And this model is a seafaring theme called Homeward. And on the back uh, is this amazing uh, sailing ship from the glory days of the great clipper ships that would come out of San Francisco and New York and Savannah and New Orleans and go all around the world to the Far East. And a lot of sailors from the Far East would come to Hawaii and he would, he would learn uh, their techniques, tattooing techniques. So he uh, really was a, uh, an amazing character in American history. And in addition to the beautiful clipper ship on the back, we have this wonderful bunting uh, with the stars and stripes around the sound hole um, and the wonderful star inlays all over the fretboard and up into the headstock. Uh, the back and sides are made from glorious three-dimensional Hawaiian koa wood. Uh, the no photography is going to do justice to the three-dimensional ripple that come over the shoulders that look like sand at the bottom of a crystal clear lagoon. And I love the way that the darker striping of this side move into the neck, into striping in this mahogany neck that look like it's all one piece. Really glorious. The, the binding is quilted babinga. And that goes up the neck, the binding on the neck, and the headstock, and the top. The top itself is an amazing bear claw Sitka top. It's just festooned head to toe with bear claw. I think it looks at times like the little crests of waves on the ocean. I think it's a perfect piece uh, uh, to go on this this nautical themed homeward. I think the uh, that that homebound theme is something that meant a lot to sailors, certainly in those days, in the sailing ship days. And the the art on the back and the side and the top here, all across here, is something that you would have seen on uh, sea captain chests that they would take with them and, and then retire with, uh, you know, sitting in their homes. So the sea captains in New England uh, have those, what they call tea chests, with those beautiful inlays. And... Uh, they also, some of this stuff looks like scrimshaw that you would have seen uh, inlaid on, uh, on uh, tusks and, and whale bones from the great sailing ship days. It's an amazing piece of Americana, but it also sounds magnificent. Koa, Sitka, warm, and yet such great chime, wonderful harmonic chime that you get only from Koa and... Um, as you can see, I can go on and on and on about it. Really comfortable, modern Martin neck. The bracing is interesting. It's non-scallop forward shifted bracing, so it's the bracing of the standard D28. That gives you really great definition uh, and a lot of power, so you can play this thing hard. You can play it soft. Um, I really, uh, really love this guitar, and I'm going to be kind of sorry when it's finally sold to the lucky owner because... Uh, because you can't find these things, and um, this is as fine an example as I've ever seen. So here we are, the D. Homeward Sailor Jerry. <laughs> 